But what's up, everybody? It's time for some Grinzo action. We have a bunch of goblins in jail, and they're mad. They're mad because it's like the third day in a row they've served peanut butter and jelly for lunch. And they want... Uh, they just want to riot right now. They want to see the world burn. All right, uh, Mero Nar, Mero Narr. should be fun. Rats and goblins. This is, this is a very dungeon match right here. I, I will take this. <laughs> they, they they may not even be rioting this game. They may just want to. Uh, they're trying to take care of the rat problem inside the jail. Okay, so we've got uh, Rakdos, Shadow Blood. Yeah, this is good. We can keep. So we're gonna he's gonna mulligan to four. Uh this uh Jacob. Jacob is somebody I've uh, I've met in the uh commander room. So if you ever want to play me, I will definitely uh Uh yeah, if you ever want to hit me up for a match, let me know. Uh I, I practice for modern a lot during the night, so I try and command, uh, try and record my commander videos in the morning. But yeah, if you ever want to approach me as far as playing some commander, hit me up. I'm usually free. I'll, if I can't, I will let you know. So next time we're going to play uh, Mountain. In the Grinzo deck, you also run stuff like Erratic Explosion. So we're, we will reveal cards from the top of our library. It also basically it ends up being us... Um, And so we're going to um, we're going to put down yeah we'll get down mountain and then next turn we can play uh, Rakdos but yeah I uh, played against Jacob before he's a pretty cool dude so he's got Mindstone down let's check out with this uh, terrain gener uh, yeah generator okay. Now we can get down Shadow Ridge, Shadow Blood Ridge, and get Grinzo out. Yeah, let's do that. So we play Shadow Ridge, get down Grinzo, and uh, all the goblins in this deck are two or less, except for Krinko. So um, you can always get down Grinzo on turn two. And have a bunch of targets to put on, but it never fails that like one of the flips is always Krinko, since his power is three. So our opponent's going to read the bones. And then we can play this uh, second mountain and get down a uh, Gurblin Warchief. Down mountain. Oops. Okay, there we go. It's always like such a pain to like tap filter mana. So we're gonna come in hot for four. Yeah, this is a uh, straight goblin. I think the only non-goblin in here is a uh, mind claw shaman. And, hmm. Now we have ways to get cards from our graveyard onto the bottom of the library. Yeah, we're going to put Arms Dealer down, because next turn I'd rather uh, just blind, blind activate Grinzo, see what we can come up with. It's a very goblin way to approach the deck. You don't know what's on the bottom. We're just going <laughs> to just blindly, uh, blindly get his key and start un unlocking jail cells. Now, Pack Rat. So I think we're going to, instead of blind, so we're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do Erratic Explosion on Pack Rat. Choose Pack Rat. Hopefully you flip something that costs two. 
Yeah, I sprung for the uh, foil version of this. I'm not a foil man, but uh, there's certain cards that catch your eye, and you said that would look good, especially in a deck that I'm only going to use. You know, I'm not sure what I'd use Erratic Explosion else in. All right, so we do hit two. And we're going to put uh, Command Tower, Ancient Tomb, then Blood Mark. And then we'll play uh, Rakdos, bounce a mountain back to our hand. And then we can swing in for four. All right. But yeah, it's a very goblin way to run cards like that. All right, so he's got Nat Miser. Nat Miser. I love this card art. That's such a creepy looking rat right there. Scrib Nibblers, okay. Exile top card of... <laughs> okay. I like this. This is a pretty cool match. Goblins versus uh, rats. I like this. But yeah, if you're going to play Grinzo, it does help to write down what's on the bottom of your deck, because you'll start doing stuff, and then you'll just completely forget what's down there. Okay, so we're going to play Mountain. Do we want an explosive revelation? Let's see. Choose target creature player, reveal top card to your library. We can be Vampiric Tutor. Or we can just blind flip Grinzo. I'm not too worried. We could set up a pretty big scry with uh, explosive revelation. Let's try that. We're gonna we're, we're going to the face. Tap all the mana. Oh man! <laughs> so we lose. Uh, Mentor gets buried, and then just in case he double blocks, I don't want to. I don't want to lose Goblin War Chief. We do hit Goblin Grenade. What a man! I, goblins and Magic just—I don't know. I don't, I don't play a lot of red decks, so whenever I do play uh, like a Goblin deck, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. I forget how chaotic they can be from a design standpoint. Like that's their thing. I love it. So we got a bunch of lands on the bottom of our lab right now, so we can't blind flip. We have like three lands, I think. We can get uh, Crystal Ball down. Start scrying. Scry 2. Really goes a long way in this deck. And then we can Vampiric Tutor for a creature card if we want to, which I may do that instead of getting down Guild Gates. We'll do that. So we can Vampiric Tutor and then scry to the bottom with uh, Crystal Ball. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know what we're going to do. Ooh, we do need to watch out for uh, Scrib Nibblers. So we put Vampiric Tutor on top. He can exile it. So, um, definitely gonna have to wait for, uh. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Let's Vampiric Tutor. What do we need to grab? We need to grab a goblin. Power two or less. Get Beetle back or Siege Gang. What else do we want? 
get Kiki Jiki down. Doesn't really have that much of an impact. Can't do Krinko. I think we're going to do uh, Siege Gang. So we put Siege Gang on top. We're going to scry two. Use the crystal ball, let's peer into it. Alright, so we got Forge on the bottom. Well, actually, I may leave that on top. I don't really want to cast that. So, Forge on top. And then Siege Gang on the bottom. So he's going to exile uh, Chancellor, or whatever it was. The big, the big goblin giant. Chancellor of the Forge. And then, I don't... Oh, we did shuffle after Vampiric, so we do know that uh, only Siege is on the bottom right now. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you play this deck, make sure you write it down. You'll get to the point where you're just... Like, if you're playing with a friend, I'm sure your friend will be like, okay, check. But, uh, well, depending on what your playgroup is. But, um, yeah, it definitely helps to write it down. Okay, so our goblins have haste. It costs one less to cast. So let's put the bottom card. So we'll get down Siege Gang. We're going to play uh, Mad Auntie. She's really mad. I don't know why, but she's just always angry. So we're going to play uh, black, colorless, or not, red, excuse me. And uh, she has haste now, so we'll be able to regenerate if he chooses to destroy. And we will put down Guildgate, that way we have that. Alright, so we're going we're gonna to come in hot. And we can activate the ability if we attack with him, too, so... Yeah, Goblins is fun, man. I enjoy playing a good Goblin deck. Yeah, we're going to swing in with everybody. Since Krin uh, Grinzo is... Uh, not Krinko. Grinzo is three. So we're coming in for three, six, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. Jumping down to thirteen. Okay. And we have Goblin Grenade. Which we can use if we want to use right now. We can use Siege Gang if we need to. Dictate of Erebos. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Okay. Now he can, okay, he's got Hall of the Bandit Lord. He can cast uh, Marinar. He can activate it once. And we'll have to sacrifice the god. We should be able to close it out with uh, all these angry goblins who are ready to riot and see the world burn. <laughs> I love, uh... <laughs> That's so cool. I love it when the... Uh, so you've got Siege Gang Commander. Sacrifice a Goblin deals two damage to target creature or player. So you look at the card art, and he's got like this catapult on there, and they've got the little uh, the helmets that are weapons. Oh, Goblins. Goblins are really good. I like it. And his rats also get fear whenever uh, Maronar comes down. So just from Siege Gang, we're going to have two this turn from Siege Gang. Drop down to eight. Have Goblin Grenade, which will be seven next turn. Yeah, two, eight, seven. He'll be done to one, and then... Okay, let me get this closed out. There we go. We'll just uh, lose one of the Goblin Tokens. So you get one, two, three, four, five. Five blockers. 
and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six coming across. I think we can close it out next turn. Now, here's, do we want to activate Siege Gang? So we'll have one, two, he's got five. Activate Siege Gang. We'll have exactly enough to block. So let's scry. Yeah, let's do that. And we whiff on those, okay. Well, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mana. Activate stomping slabs. And then we'll have goblin grenade. But we can also surging flame next turn. So we'll put that on the bottom and put surging flame on top. So we have 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 13, 15. So let's go ahead and Surging Flame right now. Because our goblins have A, so we're going to do that. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to Ripple 4. So basically, this is, Ripple 4 is just Scry 4, since you, know, you can only have one of each card. Goblin Ringleader. Okay. Oh, we can get Adaptive down. Yeah, that'll be good. So we'll do Swamp, Mountain, Ringleader, Adaptive. Then we'll be able to... Grins up for two. Get the Adaptive down. Get adaptive out. Gonna choose a uh, gerblin. And now we, yeah, and then we can get one more. And then we'll just skip his uh, battlefield trigger. And doom, boom, boom, visor seer. Alright, so we're going to come in hot with the whole team. What a motley crew. That's what I also like about goblins is you just right click, attack all. So he draws a card. He has one, two, five blockers. Should be able to close it out. Depending on what he drew. So let's see what he does as far as blockers. <laughs> Look at all those cards that Scrib Nibbler ate. Hey, come on, dude. You're going to get fat eating that many cards. So he gains a life, but yeah. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks.